Chris Hockey, what a great performance. You Thank are you. a professional. Thank you. I'm looking to do my own Sunny and Cher show. I want to <laughs> sing. I want to do comedy. I want to host with you. And you're, you're my share. Well. This you're going to be my share. Oh, share. I feel really. Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. That's, that's oh. all I have for you. Um, earlier in the show, we got a lesson in seizing the day from professional speaker and author Jasmine Stringer. So she's back. We like to get our money's worth out of people when they show up. So she's joining us for our Watch, Read, Listen segment. It is presented by the fine folks at Chew Vision. Jasmine, welcome back. Thank you. And I want to be the backup dancer. I'm yes. Really, yeah, okay. Oh, my gosh. Yes. It done. Sold. This is, I think okay. we've, we've got some. Well, that move right there has got to make it. This is really good. All right. What are you watching? You're watching Abbott Elementary. I am late to the party, um, but I discovered it over the holidays, and this show is so good. It's a cute show, it isn't is it? It is so cute. It is so so f funny, and it's fun to see like these young professionals navigating life. I love that principal character. I mean, <laughs> it's just a good laugh. It makes you feel good. It's that mockumentary style, yep. yeah. and it's on ABC. And I think that's a really good point. Like one of the things that's been a little bit difficult about all the stuff that comes out on streaming is that so much of it feels so heavy. Yeah. And so intense and like right. violent. And don't you sometimes just want to watch stuff to make you laugh like this show? It does make you laugh. I mean, and it is a mockumentary. So they are pointing out issues like in the school and, yeah. you know, not the best area of Philadelphia and some of the stupid things that the administration does. But it makes you think and it makes you laugh. That's good. Yeah, yeah funny show. I, I know so many people who love that show. Yeah, yeah. and it's right it's on ABC. So good. Nice yeah. job promoting a, okay, an good. ABC it's show, It's a good Jess. show. Oh, yeah. That's very Always good. Thinking. Okay, so you're reading a book that I started reading also about a year ago and then set it Decide to read something else, and now I just know I have to pick it back up. It's called Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall yes. Kimmerer. Kimmer, give everybody the idea of this book. So I was introduced to this book from my book club, and so it is a, she is a botanist, and she also is a Native American woman, and so she's telling her life story and then connecting it to the plants and and the land and her culture. Mm -hmm. And so you just get a whole lot. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot. Hmm. This is very good. That's very good. You don't ever buy sweetgrass. Don't buy it. Right. 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 You cannot. Don't ever buy it. Okay. You're listening to it or reading it? You said you were listening. I'm listening to it. I love audio books. Yep, I'm listening it. to it, but I'm, I'm, I put it for my reading. Yes, you know. got it. Yeah, for so sure. So the yeah. subtitle is Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teachings of Plants. And yeah. Elizabeth Gilbert, who's a very famous author, yeah. called it a hymn of love to the world. Wow. I love this quote. Can I read this, Jasmine? Yeah. Plants know how to make food and medicine from light and water, and then they give it away. Right. This is why we love the garden. Yeah. Exactly. This is why we love all exactly. the Exactly. Exactly. And then I'll at my little wine about plants is that I love that you know most of our food it either starts as a flower or it ends as a flower yeah isn't that a good that's thing beautiful. I know yeah, and then that. that's how you get hooked on gardening yeah. you know you talk about like finding connection right. we were just talking about that and finding things that really like bring you joy and that reduce stress that is what gardening does it's for me. a meditative practice for me there is something about playing in, I say the dirt, but I know I should say the soil. Either way, either yeah, way. You know, um, that's just cathartic. Mm -hmm. yeah. We were made to be doing that stuff. It's so true. Million, yeah, right, for thousands of years we were supposed to be doing that. We don't do it anymore. This is a good reminder. Yeah. Okay, braiding sweetgrass. I'm going to pick this up and then I'm going to text you about it so okay. we can discuss. Okay, and then you're listening to some gospel I'm music. listening to a gospel because I talked about life, um, lifing, but I love this album, Cece Winan. She came to town last year, Believe For It. They're just some great, um, you know, nice guitar, good anthems that you can belt out when you need some reinforcement, some positivity. She apparently some love. doesn't age. Uh, no, is she? <laughs> she is so beautiful. She's I mean, aging she, backwards. I know. She's so she's a grandmother. Oh my gosh. She's wow. so beautiful. But I mean, if you need a pick me up, if you're like, yeah, I need to lean in my faith. Go to the one of the American Idol contestants because now I'm into American Idol I've this heard, season. Yes. Um, that he sang a CC Winan song and Katy yeah. Perry got all teary about it. And it does. I mean, those songs. I think some of her old stuff yeah. too really reminds oh, right, you of yeah. like being a kid in church and like right. feeling that connection. Exactly. It is. I mean, yeah, it's just so good. Okay. What else do you have going on, Jasmine? Are you speaking anywhere? Like, what's happening? What are you yeah, working on? I am speaking a lot of places. I'm trying to think. I, of course, you would ask me my <laughs> dates coming up. I'm like in. The, negotiations for something in California so I know I've got to like send the contract back to them I was That's just told good. my mom was asking me what are you doing today um, I'm speaking for Minnesota infuse coming up that's kind of um, a state 
pharmaceutical health conglomerate. I'm trying to think what's on the day. Wow. I kind of stay very present in the week and I not know, go but too far out. But happening. yeah, there's a lot. I know. And then we can always follow you on the socials. You can always follow me on the socials, Carpe Diem with Jasmine on Facebook, Carpe Diem JBS. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the things talk about garden, the seeds are out. You I know, know. I know. It's time to start. Yeah. Do you do seedlings or do you buy plants? I usually buy plants and yeah. then I plant certain things as seeds Seed, yeah. um, because I just have to know my limits with certain things sure. in life. But I'll get there. Mm -hmm. I'll work on it. Thanks, Jasmine. Thank we you. We love seeing you. Thank you. Carpe diem. I like it. She's always great. You posted, uh, we posted a closer look at all of Jasmine's picks on our website, TwinCitiesLive.com. And that's uh, about a wrap. We're going to wrap this show up right after this. It goes by too quickly. I know, it really I does. I kind of like it here. Stay with us. TCL's Watch, Read, Listen is presented by Chu Vision Institute. Dr. Chu provides the most vision solutions in Minnesota from LASIK to cataracts. Contact them today to find out why more Minnesotans are choosing Chu Vision Institute. And for a limited time, call them and you could qualify for your LASIK surgery absolutely free.